Hi guys, just a quick look at four different microphones on the, on the radio, one of the late 70s, early 80s sort of radios here. Um, so we're going to look at four microphones, first off we'll go with the standard one. This isn't the standard microphone but it's uh, a copy of the standard microphone, uh, relatively new version, it's just what they call a coffin because of the shape, sort of a coffee microphone, I believe it's the same cartridge inside. Uh, pretty standard stuff, perfectly standard, uh, and we're going to be receiving on this uh, AOR, AOR 8000 on FM to start with. So I think I've got it all set up. Audio. Now, obviously, I've got the volume turned down. Let's turn that off. One, two, one, two. There you go. Audio check, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, audio check, one, two, one, two. That's on FM. That sounds quite quiet. I had my mouth right next to the, the microphone, <laughs> right next to it. They used to call eating it. Okay, so let's go on to, uh, uh, let's swap on to AM. Audio check, one, two. You can see how loud that is and how... Clear it is. This is the standard microphone. One two one two. There's no um. There's no peak reading on this meter. This power meter. Uh, this is the Eurosonic model one seven one, um, with uh, power and SWR meter side by side. There's no S. There should be no SWR either because it's on a dummy load. Twenty watt uh, CW. Twenty watt um. Uh, continuous yeah 20 watt dummy load okay so now we'll go to the next microphone okay so we have the Palmer uh, power microphone I can't remember the model number this is probably from the 90s I should imagine it's in nice condition it's got a wheel on top there if it'll focus uh, focus no it's got a wheel on top there which takes you to uh, the volume uh, the audio output um, which goes 1 to 10, I think. Let's just double check that. 0 to uh, 10. 0 to 10. Okay, so I'm going to put it on about 2 for this test because we're on AM. 1, 2, 1, 2. It sounds a bit louder. Uh, yep, getting a bit of uh, feedback there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, audio. 1, 2, audio check. 1, 2. 1, 2, check, check. Audio check. So it is actually quite a bit louder on AM, but it's also, obviously these radios have got an ALC in them, uh, so there's no point actually uh, having a power echo microphone, because, uh, sorry, a power microphone, because you're pushing the limits of the radio, the ALC on the radio. Uh, let's go back to it. FM, of course FM hasn't got a uh, an ALC as such, so let's just try... One two, that's quite a bit louder on FM. One two three four five. I'm not actually eating the microphone now, and we're still on. We're still on two there. We could go up. Let's go up to four, and hold the mic about three or four inches away from my face. One two one two. Check check audio. It sounds slightly distorted, if I'm honest, and probably sounds cleaner with the microphone, the other microphone, but um. It does sound louder. Okay, that's the Palmer. Just a power microphone from the 90s with a nice me metallic sort of painted mesh grill. Always like the look of these. Yep, quite a nice build. Let's say this is probably from the late 90s, mid to late 90s. Nice thick power lead. Standard four pin arrangement on the, you know, the deal. Uni den. Okay. Next up is the Superstar DM1000, DM-1000 Tornado. This has got a few different names. Uh, by the way, the Palmer took takes a AA LR6 battery. This takes a PP3, I think it's called, a 9-volt battery. So slight difference in the, the voltage there, they operate on. This one's got echo controls on the back, for those who like echo. Um, these pop up not very, they're not very common these are, I think you have to import them from America possibly, a um, bit, bit more of a flimsy lead but quite a bit longer than the Palmer, nice metallic badge there, sort of metallic grill again on the front, very loud, the volume control there, you've got a pop for feedback and a pop for volume, hidden away there, VR, available resistor 2 and 3, and then you've got the echo wheels which are like sort of thumb turns, 
Uh, okay, so what we on there? We're on FM. Ooh, one, two, one, two. Extremely loud. Uh, I've got the microphone miles away from my mouth, and as you can hear there, I'm getting feedback all over the shop. Okay, turn that down a little bit. One, two, one, two. Audio check. One, two, three, four, five. Hello. That's very... One, two, one, two, three. That's a bit too loud again, but I haven't got a little screwdriver on site, on location, to alter the um, alter the variables just for the volume there. I'll put a bit of echo on them. Let's go for the bit of echo there. Audio. One, two. One, two, three, four, two. Hello. One, two. Nice. The beep, by the way, is uh, standard on this... Uh, Cobra, as you probably know, if you if you like Cobras, it's a completely standard unit. This is, I think, I've done a review on it before. Totally standard, a little bit marked, but it's original, so uh, very unmolested, as they say. Now we're in AM, which I've got a feeling this is going to really blow the. Um, oh, hello. Too loud. Yeah, that's going to be too loud. I can't adjust the volume. Oh, I tell you what, I could have done. I take the mic going down, of course. One two one two audio check extremely loud extremely loud on the on AM so loud I need to turn the volume down on the AOR one two check check hello one two incredibly legible there sort of uh, legible audible what's the word incredible uh, you can understand it easily that's what I'm trying to say uh, on AM there can't think of the word uh, FM. Try FM again. Let's just go back to FM. Uh, okay, now FM. There we go. One, two. Oh, it's a bit better. Yeah, it's a lot better. Now turn the mic going down. One, two, one, two. Check, check. Turn the mic going down. And the um, and the uh, the audio on the the AF going on the the AOR. Okay, it's great. So that's very clean, very clear. Nice microphone again. And last, last but not least, the Road Devil, which I only bought because the desk in the room in the Radio Shack is red. So that's the only reason I bought it. Yeah, I do like uh, static mics. Obviously, this isn't as good as the static famous one, whatever it's called. Uh, but it's it's still a decent little mic. Yeah, I've done a full review on this. Metallic grill again. Nice little badge. Decent uh, lead on it. Fully metallic plug, as you'd, you'd like. One, two, one, two. Okay, that's not so good on there. Uh, on uh, what we're on FM, turn the mic down up a bit, but you got the volume on the side of this again, just plus or minus. I think no zero to nine. Okay, if you'll focus ever. Okay, one, two, one, two. Let's turn that up a bit. One, two, one, two. Very nice. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Check, check. One, two, one, two. Nice. That's probably the clearest, uh, apart from the standard one, uh, I've heard with the mic gain all the way up as well so you can't blame the mic gain uh, one two one two check check that's very nice on fm that's probably the clearest apart from the uh, standard one but that's probably a good mixture of uh, clean audio and loudness and, and audio volume sort of thing okay let's go for the next one uh, i am right uh, i just need to do this uh, part again so we're on i am the static Whoa. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, very nice. Very clean audio. One, two, three, four, five. Check, check. One, two, one, two. The good thing is you can back it down with your thumb as you're talking. Yep, one, two, one, two, one, two. This is probably about the cleanest uh, audio. Out of them all, in my opinion. Uh, I've done a full review on this. Check out the video if you want. Uh, that's probably about the cleanest audio and the most convenient or um for your volume adjustment very nice little microphone noise cancelling i.e it's got a bit of rubber over the, the top to keep the wind from getting into it that's the noise cancelling nothing fancy like um you get nowadays with noise cancelling um it means input noise not output noise uh that's nice nice microphone that probably sounds the best to my ear the cleanest and most punchy okay guys that was just a quick look at four different microphones and a quick look at the uh, cobra 148 gtl dx which i've done a full review on uh, at some point if you've checked my videos out uh, and a quick look at this which i've also done a review on i think or i will have to if i haven't uh, the eurosonic 171 model 171 pair swr meter uh, probably running a little bit high, like I said, because I haven't adjusted it. It's only on a dummy load, so there'll be virtually no 